especially with like kits, pits, kit in general, it's a very you're gonna have to play very baity. The character itself has got probably like the yeah. most honest toolkit in the game, <laughs> but we'll see what happens, man. He's he's actually going to play regular pit, no no dark pit, not even the ba the not the Bowser, the Charizard. He does have a Charizard. Oh, oh, Rob. He plays Rob. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he used that's to play like a lot of Rob. Uh, not sure how that's going anymore, but yeah, he did have a Rob. I know he used to bring it out for like the the more like heavy matchups. Yeah, should make sense. That will make sense. They're deliberate, deliberating the stage pick right now, choosing Final Destination as their first field of play. <laughs> Six minutes counting down, starting now. Just like Kiraflex, you just run in and try and get a grab. Yeah. And you can see that Hydrant being there messed up his combo, and he took a lot of damage from Totsma Goats chucking it at him. All right, great punish on the dash attack. Usually pretty pretty tough to punish that dash attack with a low end lag. Yeah, it's got deceptively low end lag. A lot of the times you'll see uh, Pac-Man players opt for F-Tilt or something else out of the dash attack. Another down smash coming out from Kiraflex. And this is the Beatty oh playstyle that, that I was talking about earlier. A lot of empty hops, a lot of uh, <laughs> trying to beat you in, poke you in with the back air. Oh my Gets God. him with the key, though. Yeah, Kiraflex is definitely feeling comfortable right now. He just kind of hopped away, even not really caring about giving up the stage control. He had the key in hand. He said, I, I got what you want. <laughs> I got what you need. Mm -hmm. The right. key to success. Yeah, but nothing too substantial right now. I mean, tries to hit him with another key. Not sure if that would have killed, but it definitely would have put Kiraflex in a bad spot. Kiraflex really just connecting something, oh. and the Hydrant works against Totes McGoat. There we go. Now, one oh. thing Kira is going to have to not do, he's really prone to going off stage and throwing out those down airs, but uh Pac-Man's recovery is just going to allow him to escape that for free. Oh, great reflection. Yeah, great reaction from Kiraflex. Shoots an arrow up into the sky. Let's totes back onto the stage. Just trying to avoid any shenanigans that he may have up his sleeve. Up oh, and air out of shield. Really good get off me. Hydrogen working for totes this time. There we oh, go. Snipe, snipe him out of the sky. <laughs> Ooh, Apple almost enough percent to kill. This is where Toast, it gets really tricky for Toast because he has all those fruit and he knows how to use them. Kira doesn't know the properties of every fruit that Apple may surprise him again. Oh my god. It's getting really both players in dangerously red percents right now. Toast 166 with Kira Flex, not that far behind at 137. Uh, I'm expecting Kira to actually look for the forward throw, oh and there it is. My God, such a crucial shield coming out too. He was able to power shield through that apple, which definitely would have killed him off the top and get the grab for the kill of his own. Now he's at 143%. He's still got to play relatively safe, but he's building on a lot of good damage here. 24. Yeah. There's the, the apple. Getting a few hits for extra per cre extra credit, uh, and then the apple will finish off his first stock. Oh my God. I guess that kind of wasted some of uh, Kiraflex's invulnerability mm -hmm, from the platform. Gave up yeah. the stage control. Wow, Hydrogen putting Kira in grab range. Uh-oh. There's that f yeah. So long. Yeah, actually went through the Hydrant <laughs> to hit Totes by Goats on the other side. He finds a grab. Releasing into the jab, just getting his little hits here and there. It's pretty much been the name of the game for both these players. Kiraflex continues to really throw out jab one when it connects onto Totes, and then continuing to just try and almost lock him in place with jab one. But Totes keeps escaping. Oh, oh the, with the footstool, and he's trying to hit him back down. With he's going to make it back. Yeah. Yeah, but you can see Kiraflex was not letting up the pressure off stage, recognizing that Backman would be able to make it back. Okay, Kiraflex is ready for the for the hydrogen as soon as he gets launched at him. 
But is he ready for the arsenal of items that Totes has? The other ones. Oh, Ooh, hydrogen connecting Totes. There we go. Oh, gets back onto the stage with a regular getup and gets F tilted for his troubles. The deceptively long F tilt. Yeah, that's got a lot of range, damn. Zenos, Zenos is the best pack man. Oh, that was that was for the ten months of. He said, "Let's go, my homie Totes, second best pack man in SoCal, being me the first, of course. Also, hi mom. Shout outs to Zenos's mom. Interesting. I think someone signed me up for the tournament. I'm gonna go figure out. I'm gonna send. Uh, I'm gonna send Sedge over here so you guys can hold it down. Is Korean? Is Korean not playing right Actually, now? Actually, I'll send Korean yeah, over send here. Yeah, Korean over here. So we got game two, and Kiraflex actually opting to play Rob this time. So we're going to see a little bit of all of his characters tonight. You know, I have to say personally, I, I hate I hate Rob. <laughs> I just, just don't understand him. But it's a really interesting matchup, especially the two, two of the characters you would least expect to see in Smash. Yeah. And the thing is, too, the, these are two uh, range-based characters, so it'll, be, it'll definitely be interesting yeah. how Rob interacts with the Hydrant, if he can do it, like, interact with it with the top and stuff like that. Yeah, it's definitely probably what Kiraflex was f trying to figure out since he was able to clutch out the first game with his pit. I mean, he's probably just thinking, you know what, you got a bunch of projectiles, I'm just going to toss a bunch of my own. Yeah, and I, I would think Rob would kind of win that war because the laser goes through the Hydrant, yeah, there you as go. we saw. And the top comes out very much so quicker than neutral B. Yeah. And the thing about the top is that, you know, you can shield it and it'll disappear immediately. But he just gets to launch it back out. Yeah. It's the very next second. It's not necessarily a good thing when you shield yeah. Rob's top. It's actually better to let it pass through you so he can't shoot it again. Very true. Yeah, and if you can manage to pick it up, which can be difficult sometimes because of the active hitbox on it. Yeah. Uh, you could toss it up and off stage and it just, you know, Rob doesn't get it for the duration of however long it takes to disappear. Or throw it up on a platform. Yeah. But yeah, usually throwing it up kind of like just disables it for so long. And we got Kiraflex with an apple in hand. If he f manages to find the hit off of it, he could get the kill, but a down throw? Oh yeah, with this much, Rob's down Ooh! throw. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Air dodging through the hydrant and finding the, the up air for the kill. That was really nice. That was clean. Yeah, that was super sick. Yeah, he still got substantial damage on himself, 159. Totes McCoats looking for this apple once again. It was just the only way he was able to find a stock in the last game. Yeah, and the thing is, too, especially with... Um Especially when Rob throw like is able to get his hands on the fruit, he can really disable Pac-Man's range game. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, once I mean similarly to you know banana. There you go, apple. He's two for two with the with that fruit so far. Yeah, it can really catch people off guard if they're not keeping track of the order of the fruit you're charging, and then they throw the apple right when it comes out. Oh, oh my god! The All down right, air mix flex. Oh, Using the oh, fruit? Oh, 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 the water. He's still no, going. Come on. <laughs> he's looking way too nice in this matchup right now. Oh, the oh, hydrant. Yeah, not I tried to hit him with a hydrant footstool. All right, Kirifly's getting messed up by that Hydrant, though. Can Totes Magoats bring this back? Yeah, he's starting to little by little, but 103% deficit. Oh, wow, that upper actually hit through the Hydrant. All right, Totes Magoats attacking on the damage. Hydrant, now he's got him off stage. Rob's not too strong off stage. Yeah, see, he's got to abuse this, his, uh, his gasoline a little bit off stage. Likes to recover high. Yeah. And to be fair, uh, Pac-Man doesn't have the greatest aerials to pressure you with, so very smart decision right there from Kira Flax. Oh, oh he gets my the stun. gosh. All right, back air into the stage. Not enough to get the kill. Goes for that YOLO side B there. That definitely would have taken the stock. Oh, oh but the Hydrant. It. Yeah. yeah, it's going to do it. Wow, Toast Magoats gets himself on the board here. So the one thing I was going to say the last time he did that is that he's always opting for, like, very weak moves to try to get the Hydrant off of the playing field. But, you know, he's he's sitting there wasting so much time, like, hitting these down tilts when he could just, like, hit it with maybe one or two down tilts and then hit it with the strong attack and just get it completely out of there. Some, some moves are just, like, you know, like, some smash attacks. I don't know if any of Rob's will do this, but they'll just... 
you know, get rid of the Hydrant on one blow. I believe the Hydrant has 13% yeah. health. Around there, um, I'm not super percent sh like sure, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 13%. It, it's around there for sure, yeah. And uh, yeah, Toastman goes is taking advantage of that, and he'll throw a weak attack and time it to where Kiraflax actually hit it with like maybe three or four down right. tilts. Then he'll throw the cherry at it, and it'll yeah. hit towards him. Exactly. So Toastman goes actually playing around that Hydrant uh, better than Kiraflax is, like you said, maybe like only hit it one or once or twice. You don't want to do too much damage to the point where like your opponent can come in and finish off right. the Hydrant. Yeah. And you know, Toastman goes with that tie dye Pac-Man trade. That looks sick. Yeah, man. The Pac-Man's always always wearing repping their gear. Dude, it's like the Sonics, dude. Sonic mains, they always, they always wear Sonics. Yeah, though. I actually said that last time when uh, I think Lightspeed was on the on the stream. He was not wearing any gear though. Wow, yeah, what a shocked. rebel! I was shocked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Kira moving out here with this pit now. I mean, maybe the Rob was just kind of trying it out. Uh, we all know Kira Flax for his pit though, or actually now he's playing. He's playing Dark Pit. Yeah, so he's actually used, you know, technically three different characters in this set. Yeah. And Dark Pit, I mean, the main difference is he's a little slower on some of his frame data, but it moves hit stronger. But the main difference are the arrows, which is a neutral B. Doesn't, he doesn't have much curve. He can't curve yeah. them too much. And then the side B hits uh, the opponent horizontally, which is actually better. I know Dark Pit's one is just better because it kills like way earlier than Pit's. Yeah. Uh, Totsuma Goat's actually doing a really great job right now. I mean, Kiraflex answering back. For yeah, a while, though, it looked like uh, Toastma Goats kind of had Kira's number. Oh, yeah. And, ooh, gets the grab, gets the throw before he gets oh. pushed off. Wow, doesn't get the spike, though. Yeah. He found the air dodge, but didn't get the right hitbox on that down air. And I want to point out, when the Hydrant's mainly out and it stays out and doesn't really get uh, doesn't really get hit out, the main thing that changes for the flow of battle is the water. It'll shoot the water out. So that it can kind of be irritating when you're trying to catch Pac-Man. So you usually just want to get rid of the Hydrant for that reason as well. And he's clearly, Totsuma Goats is actually just using the Hydrant as bait now. Where you can see he actually found a grab while Kiraflex was trying to smash through the Hydrant. Kiraflex. Makes it back to the ledge. Yeah, looking for that edge guard, Kiraflex doesn't get it. I see how the water is just pushing Kiraflex back. It's, it's, hard, it's, it's making it harder for him to close Ooh. the gap. Wow, Hydrant into backer. Totsuma Goats with these conversions though. Uh, looking really clean. Both pairs on their first stock still. Kiraflax at a slight disadvantage at 132%. And Neutral Air taking him off the side. Yeah, and Kiraflax um, used the reflector there, the shield, and he didn't. Totsuma Ghost did not give him the uh, the key. So it didn't get reflected back, and he was able to punish that with the Neutral Air. Very great play right here. Ooh. Woo. All right, the unexpected side B coming out from Kiraflax, taking off, off the side again, closing this gap. And a great thing about that side B as well is the uh, super armor you get from it as well. It's really, really great tool. Oh, okay. See, that uh, Hydrant actually yeah. made his grabs a little bit safe right there, similarly to how Link uses his bombs. Right, kind of giving him some yeah. cover. And just like that, Toast Goes already racked up 72%. Wow. And can Kiraflax get in? Now we got Ooh. some Z-drop action with Ooh. this uh, Galaga. Yeah, he's definitely uh, amping up his button inputs for the last half of this game. Yeah, Kiraflax has to go through so much obstacles just to get to Totes Goats. Yeah, you can just see how that water um, sprout just delays the match. Okay, but Kiraflax, down throw. yeah, he's finding his yeah. way in though. Nice right. coverage on the roll. Yeah, really great down smash. Oh, he gets oh stunned. Oh, my God. Just barely misses the up smash that he dashed forward a little bit earlier. I mean, he, he popped out of the stun earlier than the up smash came out, but... That definitely yeah, would have been it. That would have been it. All right. Hydrant back in play here. I like how Kiraflax is dealing with it, though. He, he pretty much brought this back. Dark Pit's smash attacks are very strong, especially with his side B as well. Can definitely close it out by the ledge. Oh, double Ooh. snipes out of the sky with that arrows. Tusma Goat finding his way back to the ledge. Oh, Unteckable! Ooh, he found a neutral air. I mean, oh, I, I don't know what else he could have done there potentially, but that, that definitely was good damage. Oh, yeah, for sure. And he has the belt on deck. Okay, Kiraflax with the ledge situation. Doesn't want to play it. Oh! oh what a conversion, but it doesn't kill! 
Okay. No, Pac-Man's up air though. <laughs> I have to respect it because that was a pretty sick conversion. But yeah. I, I mean, he was in a good position to just turn around F smash right there yeah, and end, I, the, end the game. I, this could potentially cost him right here. So let's see what happens. 145% on Kiraflax, 118 on Totem Goats. Yeah, Less than a minute and a half left too. So I definitely felt like, like you said, the four smash would have just done it there, but. Maybe Totes Magoat's not confident. <laughs> if he wasn't confident in the forward smash, but he was confident in the up up there, dude, that Yo, was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he just wanted the style. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. He really wanted to just send Kira <laughs> Flax home and and like not not be like, oh yeah, like that was a fluke win. Like, no, I I, I bodied him. Like, yeah, yeah. Did you see that up air though? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we got a tech situation. Oh, Fourth throw. God. Not going to be it. Oof. Oh, he's going high, though. Oh, that fourth throw is yes. going to do it. Wow, and it, yeah. it ends up biting him in the butt. Yep. Oh, my.